Are you ready to leave the- Hi, so I'm back, at least uh, temporarily. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a race in this game. So I was practicing it and stuff. To continue your game, and click on your I also just card. wanted to click on um, the play it to improve start, my time. Type in your name because L, who is a mod on the, on the game, congrats, button. told me some new strats that they thought about. And I was following them. I forgot exactly what I did in my last video, so I'm just going to like explain everything again, I guess, to the best of my ability. But there is a written guide that is mostly accurate. It may be edited in the future, the I don't know. But as of July 29th, it's a little bit inaccurate. So the game doesn't, you don't start time if until you, you hit OK on, on, on the horses, just Bye. because that can take, I don't know. That's just the way the rule is. So this, you start the mission, and then does a tutorial, but you hit the space bar to stop, and then you go to the old bridge, because I'm doing the Frogger mission first, because it has the most RNG. That's like the beginning, it's a little bit fast, you can't really tell. I got god RNG, this is the best RNG to get here, and um, I was a little bit overwhelmed, because I was so surprised. Um, I hadn't even had one good, like, perfect run yet, that was like, good. You know what I mean, anyway though. So I was really surprised, and because of that, I fumbled a little bit early on. I think I found my groove again later in the run. But yeah, I was I was misclicking, doing wrong inputs, you'll see. Like, it wasn't egregious, thank god. <laughs> um, but the thing with this run is, if you can get good RNG, like good or great RNG, you can probably beat this time, simply because I wasn't doing uh, the best here. But, you know, this game's really hard to cut time out of. Like, I don't know what the best would be. Because I don't have all my golds in order yet. And like, for a lot of this run, you'll see my current pace is pretty bad. But that's because my end game was really slow. Like, the first run of the day I did. It was just awful. And even here, I get a really bad apples section. Also, this is the mailbox section. Uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, I don't know. The hoof print thing. So you go to Apple Alley. On the written guide right now, there's an extra step. Ignore it, there's only two steps. You find the hoof prints in Apple Alley, and then you go to the beach, and you look at the horse. And I think it's either gonna be at the sparkle audio or when the horse lifts its front legs. I've been doing it when the horse lifts its front legs, but maybe you can cut some time out, and just when the sparkle audio starts, you can ditch. Again, this is not an unbeatable record by any means, it's just... I just got good luck, and it's doable, okay? It's doable. L, you can do it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed this game. Um, I didn't play it as a kid or anything, but like, it's fun, I think. And I like the music in it, like, it's not grading at all. It's a pleasant. I like the graphics in a really weird way. Like, it's so cursed, but it's great. Also, my recording setup's pretty low quality, so, like, it makes the game look a little bit worse than it is. I mean, it looks pretty bad, because you're playing on a Windows 95 emulator. Oh, I'll have all the info in the description about how to do it, but, like, basically you want to get Matthew's virtual machine set up and then, like, get this game on, like, old game downloads. Because all the Barbie games, basically, the piece, the CD-ROM ones, that audio cue, the da 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 I can't yeah. fucking sing. <laughs> that audio cue. You might be able to leave there as soon as it starts, because that's what I do in other sections of the game. So, maybe I should just start fucking doing that. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, so... In case you didn't know, to jump in this game you hit the enter button, but to stop you hit the space button. And if you're playing this game and it looks really laggy to you, you have to hit the up arrow because the up arrow makes you go faster. And for some reason, if you go the normal speed, quote unquote, it just looks like you're lagging the hell out. <laughs> Which I was, I was trying to fix this issue for at least 30 minutes when I was trying to get back into the game. Uh, yesterday, like, because I'd forgotten everything about it. <laughs> wow. And it, it was like an embarrassingly long amount of time to realize I need to hit the up arrow. Oh, this is such a cool cottage. This it is such a cool really cottage, special. and you just steal from it. 
So this one is um, the apples, and the apples is a lot of weird luck here, so I'm saying it's bad because it is bad, my luck here. You want to get three on each side, and for some reason I thought once you got three red apples, you just couldn't get like any other color besides green or vice versa, but no, it's just RNG. So I mean, maybe if you were being like super efficient with this game, you could do like the frogger and apple section, but that would take like a weirdly long time to scroll, and it's nice having the check marks to denote where you are, so like, yeah. And also every single click. Click on the barrels, it, you can skip her dialogue faster. Um, for this I just recommend uh, getting good. <laughs> um, just remember your rights and lefts uh, the best you can and like, uh, you know, look at the color of the apple. I say this, it's just, yeah. And I know this game, like, I don't know, if you haven't done a speedrun before, maybe it seems a little bit like intense to just remember all this random shit you have to do. But it's really simple. It's just sort of about getting that route down and memorized. Yeah, I straight up thought this was a green apple because I was like, oh, it's, yeah. I was ready to leave. I had my <laughs> fucking uh, cursor on the green apple. So that's like, that's seven seconds, basically. Six, seven seconds there. You could save. Um, just by getting better luck. So even if you get like a frogger that's like six seconds worse, you could totally beat this time by just like not flubbing other sections, you know? <laughs> and you can get good frogger luck and like do the route, especially if you memorize more solutions because I only have the best one memorized, um, the others I don't have memorized. Also I'm really upset, there's this kind of glitch that happens in this game that you can do. Um, it's really cool. I say it's really cool. You can like enter a scene, but as long as you're interacting with something from the scene, like you'll stay in it. So it always happens at the well for me because I would try leaving. So when you hit the space arrow, you stop. If you hit the space arrow again, you keep going. So I'd hit the space arrow twice here, but I'd be rolling the well up. So Barbie would leave the screen, but she'd just come back in in the front. I think when we do, me and Elle do our race tomorrow, I'm going to try doing that because it's so funny and I want to have video proof. And yes, I do want to record the race because then I can link to her channel and that'd be cool, right? Even though neither of us are really YouTubers. <laughs> um, also, you know, we have to have proof on who wins or loses because, I mean, there is RNG in this game and like, kind of like, whoever's ahead at the frogger section, I think they're just gonna fucking win. Like, I don't know though. They could mess up the routing. Because if you forget what route you need to go on, then you're just screwed. There's also a lot of strat with picking where you stop because like, you can stop super early and access certain areas, you know? Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but when you enter the bush section on Rabbit Run, like both bush sections, uh, you can hit the space arrow to skip her dialogue. Anyway, I found a faster route here, which I'm gonna do on the race, hopefully tomorrow. Um, you can go on the old bridge road first. You go on the bridge, you take a picture of the tulips, and then you keep going here on this one, because this is the Apple Alley, and then you keep going to take a picture of the roses. That way you don't have to switch and do that weird loading screen thing. I only realized it in this run, like as I was doing it, because they're so close on the map, and there's like a shortcut from Old Bridge Road to here. Um, I love roses, don't but yeah, you can see it even on the mini map. It's only like a four second time save, but again, that'd be 10 seconds you saved in total to if you're trying to beat this run. Like, it's definitely significant, and I'm not even going to pretend my mouse movements are fast. Like, I mean, if you see my um, Rapunzel run, like, even comparatively, like, it's a lot smoother in that game compared to this one. And it could also be because I'm an emulator in here, and like, emulator mouse movements are just a little bit worse no matter what. <laughs> Also, I hope you like my picture. It's from a Batman comic where, like, someone steals all his money and stuff. Um, and also he has Jason Todd as his Robin in this one. And that's the only reason I read that comic because, you know, I like Jason Todd as a character and I wanted to read his old comics. So I got that great um, image. And it fits perfectly, too. Like, it's just fucking homeless Batman. <laughs> 
and like this most cliche thing. Also, I obviously I don't have it there, but when he pulls out the stuff he packed, he like packed you a spoon and a can or something. Like, and that was it? He didn't pack very much at all. Like, it, it, it didn't seem very practical either. And, like, I don't know. It's just so fucking funny. Also, I don't know if you noticed when I started my run, but I named all my characters after Barbie movie characters. Like, characters in the Barbie film. Um, it's really funny that Mattel exec um, won this run. <laughs> Like Will Ferrell just uh, got his bag. <laughs> so this is by far uh, the longest mission and definitely the worst because it's just the most boring and like... Uh, L, L told me the optimal route for this, which is starting on Turtle Trail. Turtle Trail? It's not called Turtle Trail. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> you go on the Turtle Trail you go through all the apple one, and before it takes you back to the stable, you hang to the right hand side to cut through the rabbit area, and then you can start the rabbit trail, like a little bit ahead. Like if you do the rabbit trail, you see that weird half path on your right hand side. That's kind of, that goes from Apple Alley to the rabbit trail. I'm not explaining this well, you can just see, you can see. Um, the only thing you need to veer off course for is the old bridge road, which is uh, pretty uh, convenient because, yeah, I don't know. Old bridge road is old bridge road is really short compared to the rest. I don't think there's any way to skip doing this. The game is super finicky about it. Like, it's kind of such a simple game that it's hard to cheese to to it in a weird trail, way. Like, they didn't make right. it complicated, you know? If you miss this turn, you are gonna lose some time, because you'll have to go to your mini-map again. Um, you'll probably only lose, like, one or two seconds, depending on how fast you move your mouse. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely annoying. Maybe three seconds, depending on how long the start of Rabbit Trail is. Rabbit Run, sorry. What's the rainbow one called? Rainbow Cliffs? <laughs> and when I was looking back at my live split, uh, my splits for this, I didn't realize there was a rainbow section and a gay section. <laughs> I don't know why I called them different things originally, but like, um, it, you know, apparently now it's just because in the rainbow section, it's just, you know, you move the rainbow flowers, but in the gay section, you take a picture of a rainbow for Christy. So, like, you know, I think that might be my new, um, uh, b -b -b ship for this game, you know. <laughs> There's only, like, three women in this game, <laughs> you know, why not just Barbie and Christy? <laughs> Um, Teresa can just, um, have the horses, like three horses. That's what I'll give Teresa in exchange. <laughs> uh, we are nearing the end of this mission. <laughs> and, like, maybe this could be the kind of thing where, like, if you want to do, like, the nature trails first, maybe you could do this one first. Like, I don't know, though. I think it's better doing it at the end where you can just, like, I don't know get the ones that take actual it's skill so out of the way earlier. Bad. It's just there's really, there's no solution, you know, there's no, um, shortcut path here. <laughs> and as soon as you see the screen flash black I there, that's how you know you finished the trail, because that's like the loading zone. And it is pretty obvious when you play it, you just have to like, be looking for it. Riding on the bridge like, to go over the lake is so much fun. It may look fast, but it's, it's not that fast. And I say this, I don't know. Fast. I know it's not a crazy game. <laughs> but yeah. You and you hit, you know, the space bar to stop. Oh, because it doesn't show up sure. unless you're stopped. That is important to know. The end game section, what you do is you go to the first um, story mission. So the one where it's like the key. The key and, um the gate. The one where he stole the saddle from the house. <laughs> and I actually let the cutscene play a little bit here, so I'll probably like shut up while it's playing. Cause like, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I've never actually watched the full thing, or if I have, it's been so long that I don't even know what happened. Nah, fuck it, I won't shut up. You, you know, you deserve to um, hear me talk the whole time.
I think. So you have to click that area uh, to trigger it. It doesn't just start automatically. And you also have to like, uh, timing stops as soon as the cutscene begins. I don't know the exact wording on the rules, but like, it's probably just as soon as you see the first frame of the cutscene start. Because it's a way to know that you for sure complete completed everything. And like, the animation doesn't look bad in this game. It reminds me of Barbie Pet Rescue, unsurprisingly, which also works on Windows 95. Um, this probably came out before that game it's because that game, you actually moved and Barbie. And like, it was sort of like third person. Oh, but then again, the horse uh, movement is kind Look, of intense. I think she likes us. Anytime you if you do this scary. right, Please go back to the stable and make sure they've gotten everything checked off. Um, just so you could know that you finished it for sure. I don't know. It's just like a courteous thing to do. And uh, have a good rest of your day, gamers. I guess I'll see you again in like 10 months when I do another run of a Barbie game. 